This week's race qualification took drivers from around the world to the high speed turns and challenging elevations of the Bernese Alps Club circuit. Managing oversteer was the order of the day and with 605 horsepower hooked onto the rear wheels of the 2003 Porsche Carrera GT, this was no easy task. So let's see what we can learn from the two competitors who have shined in season three of the Forza Racing Championship. TX3 Paps and Car Harmonic, leaders in the EMEA and North American Championships respectively, were able to put together near perfect laps. With their time separated by only seven thousandths of a second, this will be a study in tiny margins. Jumping on board as the two head into turn one, you can see them hooking up for a double apex here and already Harmonic has landed the first blow. Let's pause it there because you can see on the right hand side of the screen, Car Harmonic has hooked in that second apex where TX3 Paps has failed to rotate the car and has just run a car width wide, letting it go again. We can see that Harmonic is able to put down that power. Look at the pedestrian sign. You can see it's just slightly closer for Car Harmonic, able to apply that power slightly faster on the way out of turn one. Both are going to feather the throttle through turn two and head up to a very tricky apex left-hander here at turn three. Both will have to correct over the ridge there. Two corrections for Harmonic. I don't think that will hurt his speed because as we head down here, down the hill, you can see, look at the shadow of that tree, Harmonic is still a car length ahead. Now, the two of them are going to head into this very, very complex set of fast flowing corners that is the middle sector of this track. A little bit of a correction there for Harmonic, but it's not going to hurt him too badly at all. Both of them pushing with full commitment now through the tunnel and coming out on the other side. Harmonic's going to keep that lead. This is a very tricky braking zone now through the left hander. Don't run too wide. The track limit there is the yellow line and the two of them now into this left hander. Let's take another look. You can see Car Harmonic has maintained that one car length lead throughout that middle section. But check out the left hand side of this screen. TX3 Paps has set himself up on the left hand side of the road. He's now going to be able to power down with a little bit more confidence through the right hander which is coming up next. Let's have a look at that, release it again and we're off the two of them setting off through that right hander and Paps is carrying just a tiny amount more speed and he's going to keep that all the way up the hill over the jump and now pausing it once again you can see the two a neck and neck look at the shadow of that tree just up ahead Paps even an inch or so ahead both of them pretty similar here through the chicane into the final turn I mean harmonics a little bit deeper not very much at all and then powering down towards the finish line once again and it's going to be so so close between these two let's pause it at the line and you can see that is what seven thousandths of a second looks like at this speed amazingly close stuff it's great to see what we can learn from the tiny margins at the top of this incredible season of the forza racing championship the announcement of an offline final at the 24 hours of Le Mans truly seems to have lit a fire beneath a few of those lids. So, with the final round of qualification kicking off from Monday the 22nd of May, be sure to throw your hat in the ring by registering to race at forzarc.gfinity.net and navigating to the Porsche menu on Forza Motorsport 6 to find the latest qualification challenge.